update settings to YouTube. All right, crisis, we have takeoff. Understood. <laughs> Affirmative. Wait, hold on. I need to... Wait, I can't put my text on the screen because it's white. Wait, hold on. This is a this is a quandary. Oh no. Oh, I fixed it. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. I'm pushing forty, but I'm not forty yet. So. All right, you're still somewhat technically illiterate. <laughs> and then we'll put the crisis YouTuber with crisis YouTuber. Yeah. Wait, we'll do you want to be the cat or the dog? Perhaps we put it over the animal. And, like, yeah, that's. that's... What I was... That's what I think I think that that could be pretty hard actually. Well, actually, I guess I guess I'm like a cat boy or whatever because of the tweet. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you keep that going, then I'm, I'm fine with that. that I guess you're. Me. Yeah, I guess you're more of like a dog person. Are I you a dog be... person? I don't know. You seem like a I dog like dogs, person. I like cats. It's cool, you know. It's whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, that's that's real. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> no, you. Yeah. No, that's that's cool. They're just cool little animals, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold on. I need to like put this link on uh on the Twitter streaming with crisis underscore edits. That's the clarification. The underscore. Yeah. You really need to confront your imposter. Crisis edits without an underscore because he's kind of like. It's kind of fucking on you a little bit whenever He's I look. diluting my brand. Yeah, <laughs> whenever I look you up, I find this mystery man with your with your moniker. Maybe. I mean, what do I do? Do I, <laughs> I report like... him? Report him? <laughs> is he, is he, wait, is he inactive? Wait, hold on, let me look. He stole my identity. Crisis edits. Okay, he has. He joined in 2016. Zero following. Zero followers. Didn't like or post anything, so maybe like, I want. Isn't there like a thing where you can like take people's usernames if they haven't been on for years? Like you can like, re like request it from Twitter. That'd be fire. I didn't know that. I'll try. Yeah, maybe you should just fucking. This like, guy has got to go. Maybe you should just body agree. snatch this Twitter account. <laughs> like just fucking I'll Captain just... Gid you this guy. Nah, I'll be like, uh, <laughs> this is me. Fucking this is me, that username. Let me see. It's gotta be a gif of it. Oh Hold yeah, on. here it is. <clears throat> oh yeah. No, that's a great comparison. Yeah. Agent Smith like sort of taking over the other one. I do think it's yeah, it's apt. It's generally apt. <laughs> it's generally apt. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're yeah. actually fucking live streaming our for uh fucking... Let's go. I was fucking Oh well, it takes about an hour to really crank <laughs> it up, right? Wait, wait. Oh shit. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Yeah, I forgot I was streaming. We're streaming on my Twitch tomorrow, and Crisis can join. Yeah, sure. Uh, the only problem right now is that I wake up, like, an hour ago. So, <clears throat> you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to, like, stay up at 1 p.m. Or, like, what time would it be? Like... 7 a.m. or something like that. You talking to me or Cloyd? Clyde. He wants to. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, he wants to stream on his Twitch. <clears throat> but he's always sleeping oh. when I'm up. Mm. Hello, Alex. Thank you for the two dollars, bro. What's up? Welcome to a very enjoyable stream. Strictly enjoyable. <laughs> How's it going? This is a quandary. <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude, guy? <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's the vibe of the stream. A quandary, yeah. maybe. Yeah. You give her the two there. Uh, I hope you I hope you're feeling well, Clyde. Thank you for all the stuff lately. Been the homie. Hope your videos uh, went well. If you ever want to hop on the stream, even if you're tired, maybe you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I got the end. You know, let me know. Just DM me. Mm. We'll let you on here. Fuck it. We're gonna get noodles on, but his like his setup's all fucked, so I'm probably just gonna game with him later or something. Instead. Uh thanks, uh Dualali. Thanks for referring Crisis. I've been binging his videos for days now. I really like the oh. Spider Man vids. Also, Crisis, do you really think Toby is the strongest? I do. I think he's the strongest, uh definitely of the three live action Spider Man. 
and uh, there are plenty of other versions that he is stronger than for sure. Let's pop the cherry. Show your expertise a little bit for the, the crowd. Um, in what, like what direction, what sense? Just explain why he's the strongest. Yeah, give like a advanced, maybe advanced interpretation. Maybe it doesn't need to be in like in depth, but advanced, maybe. Advanced interpretation. Um, so just No Way Home pretty much was like, yeah, Tom's fought Captain America, sure. Yeah, Tom's fought like Cole of City and he was ragdolling around. Uh, Mark 50 Iron Man. Uh, yeah, sure. He's like front kicked Thanos in the Iron Spider armor. And then all of Toby's like, A, the first villain Toby ever fought. And uh, who he beat up like twice in his first movie when he was like literally just at his powers for a few months. And B, Doc Ock, who's a second villain who he fought while his powers were waning, just show up and like tear apart the Iron Spider armor and then break Spider Man, like uh, Tom Holland's ribs, and uh, just laugh off all of his like full power attacks. And even in the final fight, when Tom is like enraged, Goblin loses. But he's, like, laughing and mocking him. Like, he's not, you know... It's not like he even broke Goblin's ribs or really, like, made him bleed or anything. Meanwhile, Toby, in his first movie, is, like, up on the bridge. He's holding the kids in the car. He saves MJ. And he's, like, exhausted, right? Like, guides explain that, like, at that point, that was his maximum lifting strength, is lifting up all those, like, the kids in the, in the trolley car. And so he's exhausted, and Goblin starts wailing on him. And he's, like, about to fucking die, right? And Goblin insults Mary Jane, or whatever, threatens her. The gods say that Spider-Man at that point got just his base strength back, back, right? So he got motivated to the point that he's, like, normal 100% Spider-Man. It's not like he's, like, a mega amp. It's not like he's, like, gone Super Saiyan or anything. Just a normal strength Toby in the first movie. Ragdolls Goblin so bad. And it says that, um, like, when Goblin takes his mask off and is like, oh, you know... You uh, be, be, be a son to me right now. And he does that whole little diatribe. The guys say that he did that because he was afraid that he was about to get murdered by Spider-Man. So, first movie, Wait, Toby... Wait, he, he said he was scared? Like, he was actually yes. fucking scared shitless of him? He was actually scared. He did that ploy because he thought that if Peter uh, Toby kept wailing on him, he was just going to cave his skull in. What the fuck? I always thought he Meanwhile, was just psycho and didn't give a fuck. Like, he's like, no, he's yeah. They say they say that he was just terrified. That was like his last ditch effort to survive. Um, so first movie, Toby, like with blood all over him, gashes in his chest after getting wailed on. At, he gets motivated back to one hundred percent, and he just ragdolls Goblin and makes him like desperate for his life. Whereas the same Goblin, literally the same Goblin, gets beat on by a bloodlusted Tom, and Goblin's like. You're a fucking pussy. Like he just, you know, does not give a shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that that's a somewhat. Is, I could go more in depth, but that, that yeah. Is that's, he that's is Goblin less. more psycho in the no in the No Way Home or the multiverse one, or is he like the same? <clears throat> they kind of mess with his character because he should literally be just the same. But in the original movies, the idea is that Norman seeks out goblin as like the solution to his like personal problems whereas in the in no way home it's more like he's just schizophrenic and like norman is innocent real and goblin like come yeah real and goblin like comes out against his will <laughs> um so they do kind of mess up the like a lore there but still like crazy goblin is you know just comparing the two yeah. Is way more desperate fighting Toby than yeah. Tom. I see. Yeah. And that's like, again, first movie Toby, and he gets. Sam Raimi said that in the second movie, if Toby hadn't progressed to such a de degree, if he hadn't mastered his powers between Spider Man 1 and 2, Doc Ock would have killed him in the first fight. So. Mm, okay. So, so Toby, while injured, does way better against Goblin than Tom. And then going from Spider-Man 1 to 2 to 3, he's just getting massively more, like, strong, more powerful, more yeah. skilled. Yeah, okay. To the point that I honestly think he would just ragdoll. Like, thinking, like, because I saw Spider-Man 1 in theaters again recently when they brought it back, and I was like... Legendary. They really... <laughs> they really had it be the case that, like, there's no other way to take it than 
Toby, if he wanted to, if Tom was like bloodless, like get away from my aunt, and he just punched Toby in the face, like over and over, Toby could just laugh it off. Like, because that's what Goblin does, right? He just tanks all of it, doesn't yeah. care. Yeah. So, and there's no way that they like just forgot what happened in Spider Man 1. Like, the intent is pretty clear, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I think the the fact that he was actually like scared for his life is pretty interesting because I thought he was always just a just a psycho and just didn't give a fuck. Um, no, yeah, I uh, I can send a scan. Yeah, um, of him being terrified. What's up, uh, Tyranny, uh, Memma, Mister Caleb, seeing red. Um, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Billy. Hope you're all doing very well today. You want to bless me with some donuts today? Me a lot, you know. But uh, otherwise, I hope to speak to some of you later. Actually, I think uh, Billy and I have a date. So I said I was gonna do a little collab on Billy's channel. So see if I can get that working out or not later. What's up, Fabry? It's nice to see you as well. Of course, it's you. Yeah. It's always nice to see you. Nice to see you Sunday as well. <clears throat> Bad analysis. Yep. Got a lot of the OGs in here. Even Creative Galaxy. What's up, everyone? The Toby Gas. Yep. Crisis is the guy to ask for that stuff, for sure. That's one of my... Uh, That's one of his go-tos. The crosses to bear. Yeah. <laughs> the crosses to bear. The, the immense Spider-Man knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The archives. <laughs> we have dinner tonight. Well, maybe another time then. It's no problem. <clears throat> All right, $5 for Mr. Alex the Ghost. Um... Oh wow! Tomorrow, are you scaling? Wait, hold on. I'm I'm looking at the scan. Osborne asked for mercy. <laughs> the way they're writing it, please begged the Green Goblin <laughs> to save yeah, himself. Yeah. <laughs> he pulled up. Damn. Okay. Uh, Leon Kennedy, Chris Redfield, and Jill Valentine versus Tank Dempsey, Nikolai Bolinsky, and Edward Richtofen. <clears throat> Pretty sure those are those fucking Call of Duty yeah, zombie yeah. pro tags. Um, I'll just ask you first. Do you actually know how strong they are, or I don't know the COD scaling, but I know I know enough re re scaling. Yeah, I feel like I know Resident Evil quite well. I know that like uh, Call of Duty has some weird like multiversal Shadow Man shit, yeah. but like. I don't know if the main cast like scales. Like, hold on, let me do. Let's do some fucking like armchair real quick. Armchair time. I'd say this. I'd say like. I'd say if they do straight up kill the Shadow Man ever or hurt him, they probably just fucking like Giga Stomp. But if they don't, it does look like the RE team does win pretty pretty significantly. It seems like they're yeah, just peak humans most of the time. But they have like they might have like crazy durability. They can yeah, get stepped on by a giant robot and survive kind of thing, but so can like Leon and other characters. I'd say I'd say the Resident Evil cast would probably win. They have better speed. Yeah. They have better speed feats. I just think about like people who think that the RE people are are peak human. I just think of Leon like front kicking a Lost Plagas dude's like head apart. Like yeah. he just shatters into a million pieces. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I mean, like I guess like in zombies, they can like stab a guy so hard his head explodes though with a knife. That's pretty crazy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, like they're fucking like cod for watermeloning their their heads in, into pieces. So maybe it's somewhat equivocal, but I feel like the melee combat would go in favor of the of the Resident Evil pro tags. Like you know, yeah, ray gun. Uh, the ray gun's pretty good, but they're they're stronger weapons in um they're stronger weapons in Resident Evil than a ray gun.
A lot of two dollar. The ray gun is like building level or something like that. I feel like any RPG in Resident Evil Four is way above that. Mm. Uh, what do you think of Eight Black Flash King Yuji? I I okay when I first when I first actually um read that chapter I read it recently I don't know if you guys care about spoilers but yeah Yuji is like an interesting character in terms of who he is I mean we sort of we sort of figured like a general relation but I guess I wasn't thinking about it like that I think it's kind I think it's a little bit contrived the relation. Um, to be like that, it doesn't really make it much sense. Like, <laughs> what Yuji's like a uh, Edo Tensei, <laughs> you know? Like, basically, it's sort of it's sort of fucking weird. I don't know. I don't really like it. It's kind of wonky. But I, at first, I thought he landed six black flashes, and then someone else said, "No, he does seven in the chapter," and he did one in the previous chapter before that. So he actually did eight black flashes. I was like, bro. I did call it, though. I was like, I feel like Yuji and Sakuna, uh, they're going to get to a point where, like, every attack is just a black flash. Like, that's just what's going to happen. I feel as though it sort of... It sort of lowers Yuji's stocks in a weird way in the sense that his black flash is, like, not incapacitating Sakuna. Like, he sort of... He's sort of tanking them like they're almost normal punches. Like, yeah, they're hurting him, but it's sort of like... Why is a fucking power to the 2.5 punch just sort of, like, hitting him like a hard punch? Like, that should be pretty intense. Like, you know, when Sukuna black flashes someone, like, they're off the screen. They're gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, for me, it sort of lowers the UG stocks a little bit. But at the same time, it kind of is good. Because it's like, wow, he can just black flash like fucking eight times in a row. You know what I mean? Like, that's... So maybe it doesn't really matter if he has like a weaker power level or some shit. And he's fast enough to land these punches or these black flashes. So maybe it's significant. But it was really cool. I was... um, I'm glad to see all that stuff kind of come into fruition. So felt good. Yeah, I think we always knew he was going to be doing the black flashes and stuff like that, so. Spider-Man villains will solo a lot of the MCU. Question mark? Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's a lot of weak ones, so. He just says a lot of, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really think... I don't think any of them actually scale to Thanos. Um, I feel like I feel like the Avengers villains would beat the Spider-Man villains. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, it's like the maybe a lot of Thor villains would win as well. Um, yeah. Would Incredible Hulk villains win? I don't know. Yeah, it's a little. Uh... I mean, Hulk gets stronger all the time, so it's like it depends how how much you backscale to like his first movie. Um, yeah, and there is in Far From Home, they uh they they use like shockwave tech like weapons against Spider Man, the same kind that they use against Hulk in the first movie. Um, so that's like the second MC Spider Man movie, the one before uh, No Way Home. So you could maybe use that to scale Spider-Man to early. This guy just regardless. said Carnage solos the Avengers. Uh, movie <laughs> Carnage? No. Is there a movie Carnage now? Yeah, they did. Uh, you know the fucking Tom Hardy Venom movies? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the sequel. The villain of that is Carnage. Is he cool? He's all right. Oh. Um. It's, I, yeah, it's not amazing. They kind of sympathize, make him sympathetic a little bit. Oh, that's fine. the comics, yeah. His whole thing was to, like, he was so... I feel like his whole thing was that he was so out there that he made fucking, like, Venom seem grounded. I always thought that was supposed to be his point, but... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe... Should I even watch it, or is it, like, not worth? Um... I, know, I was thinking about it. <laughs> no, they're just... 
They're just kind of funny lame. Oh, okay. <laughs> Darth Malgus versus Darth Bane, two bucks. Uh, Darth Bane is the strongest Sith in history up to that point. Yeah. It's kind of necessary for the universe to function that way. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of... I hate people that reject the, the Sith lore a lot. Yeah. It just makes, like... You have to... um not even like a canon sense, but just narratively, Star Wars is all built around the six movies. You know, like the legends, the current continuity. It's all like, especially in Legends, everything was to service the original movies, right? That's why it's the expanded universe because it's expanding upon those films. Um, and that's what, like, the Bane narrative, that's what that's what the Sith narrative, it, it also it services the threat of Sidious. Because um, they're not about to devalue it and be like, yeah, some random guy from thousands of years before the game or before the movie came out in this random game would actually stop the like ultimate villain that everybody's like totally aware of. You know, they weren't they weren't so prone to do that. Um. The COD guys get pack-a-punched weapons. I don't think pack-a-punch actually changes anything. Maybe it's, like, in, kind of important. You know what's kind of crazy, dude? I actually get more Call of Duty power scaling questions than you would actually think. Like, it's actually fucking stupid. Really? <laughs> yeah, ever, ever since back in the day, dude. Like, back in the day, people were arguing about Call of Duty scaling. I feel like it was more, like... People debated about it more than, like, ever they did with Halo, and I feel like Halo is more of, like, a series that revolves around, like, combat like that, so it's sort yeah, of... Yeah. Is that, like, pack-a-punch lore? I was always more into Halo than God. It just says an old blacksmith made it. Uh, it just says it upgrades their stats, enhances them arbitrarily. Yeah, it's like not good. Yeah, it's a generic app. Uh, apparently two angels came down to him in a dream and said, uh, build a machine that would grant you great power. <laughs> um... So apparently they're like fucking like these like heaven heavenly technology from a dream. <laughs> Is this COD you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the Lord of the Pack a Punch right now. Like he got visited by angels in a dream to tell him to build the Pack a Punch to prepare for zombies or something. Man, um, games are always like that. Like there's always some crazy <laughs> shit under the hood, right? Like. Uh, I've been looking into Elder Scrolls lore recently, and it's, like, completely not... Like, I played Skyrim when it came out when I was a kid. And then, like, looking into it, just completely different game. Like, this is... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Under the yeah. Keeper's Demand, Brown, Jebediah Brown, the creator of the Pack-A-Punch, used a Pack-A-Punch machine to upgrade and charge the, the real vessel... The sheer power of which transported purgatory points beneath Angola and caused an infestation of the undead. So this pack-a-punch machine apparently can teleport like a, a chunk of land, like a significant area, and teleport it somewhere else. Okay. Um. Let's see. One of the many objects in the multiverse to be banished to the dark ether. <laughs> okay. Wait, this is getting crazy. Okay, there's you're a sinking, you're sinking deeper and deeper. There, there's a here. multiverse dark ether in Call of Duty where this machine was banished. Okay. It was dubbed the Forge. <laughs> Wait, hold on, it's getting crazy. Classic. Okay, so this thing has like some fucking like area of effect. Uh, 
Okay. Most of the explanations are so vague. Yeah. Uh... Does this seem like RE busting stuff? Hmm. No. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing nothing about this pack a punch doing anything crazy. Hmm. Maybe you could say that maybe you could say that the pack a punch was a was a forge given to Jebediah Brown by angels in a dream to combat the Shadow Man. And his schemes. Yeah. So therefore, it may grant a power that can combat his schemes. But I feel as though that's sort of maybe over-interpreting the lore. We don't... The Shadow Man seems to be more like an eldritch entity that doesn't, like, directly, like, attack people. So I don't know if that's one-to-one. -one. Um... Bro, the fucking Pack-A-Punch lore page is, like, an insane book. What the fuck am I reading? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, whatever. You get the idea. Um, anyway, the Pack-A-Punch is, like, I guess it can do that type of shit. There you go. Pack-A-Punch be like that. Alright. Um... I'll be the first yellow. I want to be different. <laughs> Albert Wesker versus Zabuza and Haku. Holy shit. They get... <laughs> Wesker's getting fucked on badly, bro. <laughs> like, you know, no offense. Um, he's getting fucked on. I mean, Zabuza is creating tsunamis that are like fucking city level. And uh, fighting, you know, Kakashi, who's like a lightning timer. Um, Haku's like telepo teleporting between his mirrors at the speed of light and can like... Zabuza thinks he's stronger than Kakashi. Uh, they all scale to like Shippuden characters, even if you don't want to say that they're like one-to-one. -one. Uh, Albert Wesker is like, he's uh, he's being like, he's grumbling. He's like, Arr! when he gets fucking... Uh, rocket explodes in his face you know what i mean yeah doesn't doesn't kill him but i mean like could albert wesker survive a, a nuke like i don't i don't think so <laughs> you know i don't i don't know about that like he kind of gets shot by a missile in the volcano in like an amped form and dies so yep. yeah i don't mean to you know make your yellow comment un insignificant but um yeah wesker is uh getting poopied on uh anyway I donated five last stream for Kisame versus each Sanin. <clears throat> um, I think that the Sanin all beat Kisame. Uh, I feel as though... I feel as though Kisame's whole thing is sort of... To absorb power from less intelligent fighters or maybe fighters who... Maybe not necessarily less intelligent. I feel like Killer B is actually hyper intelligent. Um, perhaps less conservative fighters. Like, Killer B is, like, very intelligent. Like, he could read Minato's strategies, uh, even as a, you know, rookie. But I also feel as though Killer B is a little bit more carefree due to his ability to be like, well, you know, I got fucked on. Anyway, go in beast mode, you know, turns into a giant kaiju and then kills anyone. Um... I feel as though the Sanin would be a little bit more conservative in a fight against Kisame. I feel as though maybe though Tsunade might get might struggle with Kisame quite a bit um, due to her fighting style. But I feel as though Jiraiya and Orochimaru would uh, sort of have the tools sort of needed um, in like the type of style needed to sort of handle that, if that makes sense. 
Jiraiya especially, I feel as though, has a lot of getaway tactics. Actually, they both do. They both have a lot of getaway recharge tactics. Um, so, I don't know. I feel like Jiraiya also has, like, a good ceiling jutsu. Could seal Kisame away. Um, I feel like Orochimaru kind of knows everything about him. I feel like Kisame kind of admits inferiority based on his knowledge of the Sanin based on Orochimaru. So I think Orochimaru is sort of like in his head above him. Even if you think Kisame could like absorb energy and surpass him, I think the implication is that he thinks like Orochimaru is like above him. Sort of like he says, you know, Itachi's above him. <clears throat> um, I'd say it's more so, do you think like Tsunade could beat him based on her fighting style? Like would she just like, would it be a one and done? Does she have the chalk reserves to just sort of like get absorbed and be like, all right, I'm not going to fuck with this guy anymore. I need to go like 100 healings and like take it. Take it chill. Take him down quick. You know? Um, then that might be a debate. Apparently, Katsuyu can, like, melt Orochimaru into, like, pudding. So, I do think the Sanin outscale. It just depends on <clears throat> how stupid they are, in my opinion. Yeah, Tsunade might Katsuyu him. Yeah, that's possible. It just depends. Like, Tsunade... I'll say this. I don't think Tsunade is that great of a fighter. <clears throat> like, she is a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. She's like, you know, she's fighting with the Kage. Maybe she's, maybe she's better when she becomes Hokage. But her fight versus, like, Kabuto is really, like... Her fight versus Kabuto is, like, not a good showing at all maybe you could just say kabuto is really good at fighting though like you know he is like compared to kakashi i, I think he's compared to rusty kakashi not trained but you know so maybe kabuto really is just that fucking good you know but um i don't know tsunade seemed like a little egotistical and uh a little bit I don't know. I could see. I could. I could see a way Kisame could win, whereas the other Sonny definitely would not lose. You know. Sorry, I ranted on that two dollar dono so hard. I, I I actually was sort of interested in my head a little bit. I need to like sort of. I need to sort of like make my brain go back into Naruto mode a little bit because I'm gonna be doing some more Naruto s content. And stuff soon, so. <clears throat> Apparently, Mr. Uh, Mr. Emmanuel survived the stabbing and uh, had some kind oh. words, so that's good to hear as well. For Very those good. of you that wanted an update on that. Um, Leon versus Jason. Well, if we're talking about COD, you know, when we're talking about Resident Evil 4, um, Leon, when he goes to the village... Uh, he finds a shotgun, shotgun in yeah. the first house he walks into. And um, he would just yeah. shoot Jason with it. And Jason would just, like, fly over and get ragdolled like he yeah. did in the movies. <clears throat> yeah, thank you for the two bucks, though. Types of questions like that are important to go over because some people think, like, that's just not the case, which is crazy. They need to be reminded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I got some donos coming in. Saitama versus Elden Ring. How far does he get? Um. Hmm. I mean, it's a little. Saitama's a bit up in the air, isn't he? Because we kinda we kinda have to get more of a follow up to like his higher dimensional god stuff or whatever. Um, I feel like one day he's gonna fight that guy. So maybe EOS Saitama is like 4D confirmed or some shit. I don't know. But currently speaking, he's like maybe galaxy level, um, multi solar. I still feel as though the Elden Ring is a universal uh conceptual construct. That manipulates concepts of death, life, disease, 
uh, birth and stuff like that. I think it's a very like fundamental uh, thing. Like it, it is the concept of order. Um, so you know when you fight the vassal of the greater will, um, the greater will is supposed to be. It's a Gnostic character. The greater will is more of a Gnostic uh, philosophical type character where it's like the great creator who created all these things whereas the gnostic belief of that character would be more so this like controlling just has this weird personal egotistical agenda which is what like you know the whole like chaos ending and the three fingers is about that's like the gnostic the world needs to be reunited with the one being uh he made a mistake type uh energy um, so I think going off of that, this concept of order in Elden Ring should be considered order of creation. And order of creation would can, would be dimensions, the higher dimensions that they reside in, the concepts that it interacts with. So it does seem like Saitama would probably lose um, two top tiers in that verse. I don't think he has inaccessible speed yet either. So could I don't think he could fight like Placidus Axe or, you know, uh Godfrey really. They might he might get blitzed. Um and I don't know, the universal scaling for Saitama, maybe it's possible, but I feel as though Elden Ring would get there. I think Saitama is like Radon would come down in his meteor stage two and Saitama would serious punch and he would explode. Like, I actually think that would happen. Like, he would serious punch Radon and he would explode. But I think after the demigods and he goes and maybe beats the fire giant and he goes to Faramizula, that's where he's going to start getting fucked on a bit because that's where weird conceptual um, infinite speed um, shit starts coming down and... I don't know. I feel as though Elden Ring, you need a charitable approach uh, with the lore because, you know, Dark Souls and all that does have ambiguous interpretation-based lore for obvious reasons. That's the storytelling. So if you sort of connect those dots, you sort of start getting like this weird eldritch, potentially outerversal cosmology, potentially. But even if it's not, it's like this universal, um, possibly multiversal cosmology um, that I don't think he, he scales to, so... That's what I would say. Saitama, he doesn't run through time. He uh, he manipulates time using a technique to sort of rewind it. He doesn't actually like, on your marks, get ready, go, and just runs back in time, right? He doesn't just do that. He uh, There's like a specific universe... A uh, universe manipulating type of technique that Garo teaches him about time to rewind it that he uh he uses so um maybe he'd be able to use that but you know can he use that where there's no time or things that even exist you know how do you manipulate time when time doesn't exist right like it's sort of it's sort of a weird debate so i don't think he's immeasurable maybe other people will say he is but i don't think saitama is immeasurable i never i never once thought he was ever You never will. Uh, Radon, Radon is not on the level of the full gods. Um, in fact, Melania goes into a rot form. She becomes the rot goddess, and the rot goddess is an Empyrean state worthy of becoming a god if she obtained the Elden Ring. So, Melania, rot goddess plus the Elden Ring, could be a god. Okay, so. But Melania in just that rock goddess form, like baby rock goddess, like just, just using it one time, like transforming into it, she passes out, literally just like one shots Radon in his prime. You know what I mean? Like let alone if she was fused with the Elden Ring, like just that weird conceptual rot outer god ability just instantly nagged Radon out of existence in his prime, let alone the one you fight in the game, right? Like the one you fight in the game is like way worse, so. Uh, will you upload the VOD later? Uh, yeah, it'll be up. It'll be up. No problemo. This one's for you for 10 bucks.
How far is Master Chief getting in Star Wars? I think um, <laughs> I fucking... if he meets any named Force user, he's uh, he's probably going to die. <laughs> Maybe you can um, go into detail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, ah uh, shit, poor Chief. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. There's like some people who scale Chief. Like, I don't know what what's their like hyperspace stuff, the slipstream or something. Is that what it's called? I feel like, bro, I feel like all science fiction has hyper... I don't know, but whatever. Yeah, they, they have their own version. Some people um, some people skill cheap to that, but I think that's just completely, like... I think that's that's just doesn't make any sense. But, um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, I think... I think him versus, like, maybe, like, a Cologne commander would be a good debate. That would be, like, an interesting, like, skill topic, but... He he doesn't Him really have. Him versus a fucking clone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad, bro. Fuck, but... yeah. No, my boy like... Chief can, is better than this. There's no way. The demon. No, I'm sorry. I have to could go. He, could um... he beat Captain Rex? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like high interpretations put Rex at like low Jedi level. You know, like some of the weaker ones, because you do have occasionally like just bounty hunters scaling to Jedi. You know, it's kind of inexplicable, but it just sort of is the case. Um, and you could probably get some clone troopers like that. But I mean, like, I'll say this there's like Padawans during the Clone War that can like halt entire Jedi cruisers, like Star Destroyers. While like near death, like injured ones can do that. Like you know that Star Killer scene where he pulls the pulls the Star Destroyer down. There are Padawans in the Clone Wars that can just do that. Um, so... Low key, low key, a uh, uh, Halo versus Star Wars video might do okay on your channel. Yeah, maybe uh, it's a, it's a it's a hot topic, especially yeah. the like would he survive like could the flood invade Star Wars has been that that topic's been going on. For you a could long even time. do like a little fun discussion, like could an energy sword really block a lightsaber? You know, I feel like people would be yeah. interested. Well, I was just thinking, uh, Elden Ring, Elder Scrolls video could be cool. Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls is complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. Like there's like, for one. The games are like ugly to play. They're like, <laughs> oh, like okay. you know, Skyrim's like all right, but the other games, bro, they're old fucking games. All right, let me yeah. say, you know, I agree. And I gotta read. Uh, apparently, there's some strange. There's like an argument that they live on like an outer versal carcass, like the planet. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, so like all the winds, like this weird multiverse, fucking devouring god yeah. dragon you know there's strange shit bro like it's yeah weird. i say that because you were describing like elders or elden ring you kind of have to be charitable because there's a lot of like and i'm looking into elder scrolls right uh, at the moment and uh that just reminded me of it because every source in elder scrolls like every book you read in the series there's always like they ca they constantly cast doubt on what is the legitimate history? What actually happened? Like, what are they, that is the nature of the gods, you know? And, and there's all the different cultures that have different opinions. So I was just, I was thinking like, if somebody really wanted to be completely non-charitable, then they could, you know, they go, oh, it's just some bum who wrote that, you know, there's yeah. this other book that says this. So right. we don't know if, if the gods are actually like living ideas or like what, like we have no idea. Yeah. So that, I feel like off the similar. dome, it's looking like an Elder Scrolls win just out of, like, empiricism. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, like, some Elden Ring DLC will give me, like, more Eldritch God wank or some shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. gotta pray. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Elder Scrolls is for, like, no, 15 years, so. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, so maybe... We got to pray that there's like some fucking Eldritch wank. I heard I heard a rumor that Parrot might have been thinking about doing Elden Ring video and he's like the he's like the fucking Eldritch god HP Lovecraft man, so maybe he's like, "Yes, this is an obvious parallel. This is an outer versal concept." <laughs> you know, like right, right. you know, maybe just some shit like that. We just got to see. I don't know, but yeah. Um bro, Yuji is the equivalent to food poisoning. Is crazy. Hmm. Well, you know, I think a little bit more than food poisoning. Like, you know, you get punched and your soul gets, like, shattered. I don't think food poisoning can do that. Maybe Sukuna, when he gets food poisoning, though, it just hits really fucking hard, though. Like, it's, like, next level. 
Like, that Taco Bell just hits Sukun on just a fucking completely different dimensional tier of pain. Like, I don't know. I, I think that, uh, it is, it is cool, though, that he is, um, Yuji's like a weird, he's already been eaten before, right? So it's like, it is, it's an interesting concept, actually. I wonder what they're gonna do with it. We'll have to see the next chapter, but it's already looking pretty good, so. What's up, XV? Hi, uh, Thylasia. Uh, do you keep, keep up with Boruto? I always see you in my comments. Do you keep up with Boruto and God bless you? God bless you too. Have you had a, hope you have a good weekend, you as well. Uh, I've, I've vaguely kept up with Boruto. <clears throat> Like, I heard there's, like, baby Kurama now or something. Like, the fucking... And, bro, I, I heard he... I, no, I actually saw it. I saw the picture. He looks exactly like those old clickbait videos of baby Kurama comes back. Or, like, Kurama has a son. I don't know. I don't know if you guys remember that. But remember the old clickbait back in the day? Kurama has a son. <laughs> and gives, gives like, Saruto or Boruto power. It, it, it's sort of like that, but real. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super and Borto, bro. They're just like, man, these fans are spitting to <laughs> make this shit real. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's pretty it's pretty crazy, isn't it? We got two twenty dollar donos here. I'm actually curious what you think about this as well. Uh twenty dollars. Would you rather shit gold or have Z Broly's power? <laughs> Mm. Um, I really would rather do anything. Probably, well, Bro, see, I can't say that. It would probably hurt so bad. Yeah, that, that'd like be metal. That's what I was gonna say. Is I'd probably rather do anything than that, right? Like, yeah, that I sounds horrible. But if you're super strong, again, like someone asked a similar question, and it's like if you're super strong, you probably just make a lot of money being super strong. Yeah. You know, like just go into the MMA and use 1% of your power and just become the greatest fighter of all time. Hmm. And you'll get enough money. Like you'll become a millionaire. My only without problem. Without having like shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel as though. I feel as though shitting gold is not an option. Cause that's sort of like, would you like to torture yourself and yeah. probably have like anal fissures and die? Probably, right. to be honest. Like, let's be real. And again, last time someone asked this, I'm like, if you brought gold to a bank, like just over and over and over, you'd get arrested. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like, where the they're... fuck are you getting this gold? But yeah, uh, exactly. So my only problem with having Z Broly's power is that even Frieza can't handle the power of his second form without almost going psycho or something. And then Broly is just so powerful that he has to like just fucking fart away a galaxy, or else he'll like go insane or explode. And then in his legendary form, he just actually, like, his fucking body is, like, ripping apart and he loses his sanity and shit. So, I don't know. I feel like if, like, a, you know, average average men like me in Crisis got Broly's power, maybe the psychological effects would not bode well, you know? Like, I don't... Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe... Yeah, maybe... You'd definitely wanna... become, like probably borderline suicidal though if you if you had to shit gold like yeah i don't know i feel like you know i feel like you sort of have to you have to just go for it like you just got to be like all right it's time to be broly and see what happens like you just gotta fuck yeah. but bro you might destroy the planet like you know like you might go yeah, i don't know like you could make a bubble and fly into space like if you knew because <laughs> like, you can do that you know i don't know like you you might, like, low-key have to become a fucking gold-shitting martyr and just, like, uh, die to save the planet. Like, yeah, yeah. it's either that or becoming, like, a fucking... You're basically becoming a bomb that can destroy the galaxy or something, like, if it goes wrong. Like, I don't know. It's kind of insane. Yeah. Damn, I don't know what I'd do. That's an intense question. That's, like, a philosophical quandary. Indeed. Yeah. Damn. Then this must be a very enjoyable stream. Right. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel as though that question is not. It's interesting, but, you know, I feel like the 
the negative connotation. Like, would you rather die yeah. from shitting or explode the planet? Like, I don't know. Kill everyone you love. Make sure it's 20 bucks though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, got another 20. Woo. I love 20s. 20s are better than anything below that, really. <laughs> pretty good sometimes twice as good as the the yellow ones right 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 okay um could war arc naruto handle the rumbling yeah what do you think the earliest <laughs> sorry what do you think the, the earliest form naruto could also accomplish that yeah <laughs> yeah oh, like bro <laughs> i Okay, watch my video. This is Loki a sleeper video because this video is actually good as fuck. Look up my video, Levi versus King Kong, bro. Mm. And I really want you to look into how strong Levi is. He Loki sucks. Like he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> like he's he's actually ass. Like I don't. There's like some like you know multi mock statements like maybe there's like a lightning level thing um you know he might have the what is it it's been a long time they might have like the armor busting like exploding rounds they can put into the the armor type titans but really speaking those things are not that great i think at best they might be able to handle like a nuke going off some of those titans he chops through him which is pretty intense but Overall, in terms of the actual energy, like, output, you know, in terms of durability that those characters can withstand. Bro, the Ninetales is, is a planet buster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these... Uh, maybe the craziest thing you see in Attack on Titan is, like, a, a nuke, quote-unquote, go off. And then, like, you know, the small village it blows up in doesn't even get disintegrated. You know what I mean? Like, Attack on Titan just sucks, bro. So, I'd, I'd say, like... I'd say low key Sage Naruto. Uh, I'd eh, I'd say KCM, just just for the stamina, like just so you can be like he has the stamina to do it. He makes like a thousand clones. They just go around beating the fuck out of all the titans, and then no one can stop them. I think the arguments for like a multiversal, like infinite speed, power, like Aaron, that shit's just fucking bullshit. I've never seen a convincing argument for that. Um, I would never take that shit seriously. It's total ass. Mikasa runs in there and stabs him in the fucking face. Like, you know, he just sucks. I'm not going to lie. Maybe he wanted to die, but you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing to prove his actual AP or anything's on that level. Um, so probably KCM just for stamina. If you think Sage Naruto has the stamina to do it, probably Sage Naruto. Uh, maybe, like, the kid Narutos don't have the stamina to really, you know, run around the whole planet, really, and do all that, but... Yeah, at least KCM, probably. KCM one. Like the one that like solos the war arc pretty much. Thanks for the twenty bucks. Darth Vader versus Zoro and Mihawk. Uh Darth Vader. There you go. Yeah. yeah, Darth Vader is uh he's gonna walk into one piece and they will die. <laughs> like walk into Marine Ford and they're He's just gonna solo them. He's gonna be like, look, all around me are just dead men. Like, and they just all die. Like, pirates. <laughs> yeah. I'm surrounded by fear and dead pirates. Yep. <laughs> it was only $2, so I was like, fuck it. Um, Good shit. Not only does Captain Rex beat the fuck out of Master Chief, he's cooler in almost every way. Well, I like Chief. Mm. Yeah. I like Chief a lot. He's cool. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know if you're. I don't know what you were cooking with that. Might need some more seasoning, though. I don't. I don't know if I yeah. like the taste of that one. Finish the fight. Like, come on. Yeah, that one was uh, a little undercooked. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Wasn't feeling that. Hey, Seth. Goku's still eating those soul punches from Itadori, though, right? Of course. Yeah, why the fuck wouldn't he? 
you watched you watched Vegeta like punch through the fucking Hawkeye energy, and you're like, yeah, I don't know though. Itadori's punch might be too much for Goku. You know what I mean? Like, fuck no, what? <laughs> like, fuck no. Topo is way crazier. <laughs> fuck no, dude. Why the fuck would a would a soul? It doesn't even like erase the soul when he gets punched. It's just like, ooh, my soul shook a little bit. Ooh, <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, it's not like a Hawkeye level attack, right? Arlong from One Piece versus 1,000 college students. What? What? 1,000, dude. It's a lot of people. Why do you think 1,000 college students matter? <laughs> like not just humans not you know like why did why is they're that educated they're educated doesn't arlong just take on like a thousand superhumans in his like in the canon like you know what i mean like what <laughs> you think like the fucking buggy ball would just obliterate arlong <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't think so <laughs> You know, I don't, I think Arlong's gonna, you know, he's just gonna own a college campus instead of an island, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know how to answer that any other way, I fear. Nine Tails versus Godzilla for five. I think we went over this before. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Godzilla is stronger. Godzilla is like... I'm not joking, 9,000 supernova level. So. Oh, he's up there. Nine tails, maybe maybe a planet buster with the uh, the statement merchant. You know, statement merchant, planet buster. Borderline, at least, Godzilla is currently like 20 times planet level. Yeah. Um, being conservative. <laughs> King Kong withstood the whole, the gravity of the entire planet. Um, and, uh, currently Godzilla is 20 times stronger than when he was already stronger than King Kong. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Create a tournament of power team using Naruto characters from throughout the entire timeline. Could be interesting. Which actual tournament of power team could they defeat? I have to think about like fucking eighty different characters. <laughs> yeah, from across the entire timeline. In which ones are actually on a certain team and not just in the show arbitrarily. <laughs> um Which team could they defeat? Bro, did they just beat none of them? Like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, how how soon do they go Super Saiyan? To like the first episode, second episode? No, I, I don't, dude. I don't think there's any Naruto team that could beat the Tournament of Power. Any team? Is it is it like the Trio to Danger team? Like the first, like one of the first universes they fight. <laughs> yeah, and they go combine Super Saiyan Blue on the fucking <laughs> yeah, and they're they're at least Boo Saga level, and you know, dude, like, uh, imagine like Hit versus any Naruto team, like he's just fucking time skipping and just killing them all like before they can move. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know, dude. Like, even even the fucking like Quitella like Rat Man universe with like the fucking little like microscopic midget that can like fucking punch Piccolo off the ring. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, they probably get just snuck up on by that fucking thing, right? Like. The Invisible Man as well. Like, he doesn't have key or, like, chakra or anything to sense the Invisible Man. Like, 
I don't know. Maybe the Sharingan would be able to, like, I see you there. And it's like, what does he do now? <laughs> does he does he try to attack him and then get killed in one hit? Like, I don't know. Like, I... like who's the least, what's the least relevant universe? They all pretty much scale to somebody. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to need the, yeah, you're going to need the statement. You're going to need, um, maybe you're going to need some, like, really, like, high, like, no limits fallacy, like, Damon. Uh, wank characters can resist the Ada hacks, the love hacks. Um, so you're gonna need like wanked Damon hacks, like no limits fallacy. It fuck it, just say it works on anyone, no matter what. He can reflect anything, no matter how powerful it is. Fucking Cthulhu could try to attack him, you just kill himself or some shit. Like fuck it. Um, maybe you need like Shiba. You're gonna have the statement Andy is higher dimensional shit and be like, you know, it's it's talking about. It's talking about mathematical. Just they have they have utmost knowledge and data on this concept. That's exactly what it means. It has to be this exact mathematical theory. It can't be. It can't be string theory. That's impossible. It has to be. It's not even M theory. Not even M theory. It's got to be versus battle wiki, <laughs> dimensional tiering, Shibai. And uh, fucking uh, no limits, Damon. Fucking tag team together like they're fucking Damon's riding on his back, and then they just run through like fucking Quitella's universe. You know, there you go. <laughs> like, maybe. <laughs> that was for twenty bucks. That's why I went kind of. Kind of in depth there, but that's really all you can say, to be honest. Um, you gotta, you gotta fucking wank those those hacks abilities. There's also a lot of characters in the top that don't even feel the concept of love. Um, it's weird. <laughs> Goku himself might be immune to a love in a weird way. <laughs> it's like strange, like kind of sad to consider yeah feel love. yeah lots of robots too just weird shit like monsters of unknown qualities yeah. a bad a bad matchup for naruto is like botamo because like every attack would just like go to a different dimension it's like he has perma calmly when you think about it, <laughs> like, so he has perma Kamui on at all times. Um, you both get ten thousand dollars in a week of prep to defend your house from a plants versus zombie one zombie attack. Plants versus zombie one zombie attack. Could you win? We have to fight one zombie. No, there's he's just saying from the first game. Oh, okay. What is what is his, what is the attack? Just like the generic wave or whatever. Or slowly walk out. I know in the future games they get a little bit crazy. Like there's like some pea shooters and shit that like manipulate space, and like there's some weird shit like that. But I think in the first game, they're not really that crazy. Like a fucking like psycho lawnmower can just insta kill zombies. So I don't know. Maybe Crisis and I could like fucking Left for Dead like. With a fucking, I don't know, an AR-15 or some shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, what? There's, like, fucking, like, eight zombies and they're, like, slow as fuck. Like, it takes them, like, fucking three minutes to walk across a lawn. <laughs> you know? So, you know, maybe <laughs> maybe we uh, maybe we could handle it, you know? One of those early game waves. Thanks for the 10. How's this then? Jason Solo's attack on Titan. No, they have they have guns. <laughs> Sorry. They have weapons. Yeah, Jason gets vaporized by the claws. Yeah, spitting. Mad spitting. <laughs> Can we debate Hamura versus Gojo on stream tomorrow? Yeah, we can also do it today if you want. 
Actually, no, we can't do it tomorrow, because I don't work tomorrow. So if you want to, we can, like, call and fucking just do it. I don't work Saturdays. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, Seth. This is ten bucks. He says, "What's your opinion on characters at a lower tier compared to their opponent being able to fight, hold their own, or beat a character in said higher tier?" Not thinking of anyone specific. I think Toriko has an ability where he can literally fight a guy in order of magnitude stronger than himself with skill, like ten times stronger, ten times faster, and he can like beat him with skill. So I don't know. Some characters have that ability, which makes no logical sense at all. But you know, it, that's uh. It's a thing in the story. Um, I don't know. Do you have an example of that that you like? You're cool with or stronger character being hurt by a weaker character? Um, holding their own against a higher tier character. Hmm. Well, like Naruto versus Kabuto, bro. Like I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean. In just a general sense, like, what's my opinion? Uh, All of the Avengers are able to punch Thanos in the face. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't like, know. <laughs> I guess, I guess if the to give an answer, sort of like what if it's my opinion, then it's like, what examples do I find agreeable? And I feel like, obviously, kind of if they're relative, but one's more skilled than the other, then a lot of the time they'll convey that as making the difference. Um, or yeah, like Seth sort of cited, like, strength in numbers. Um, I find that to be pretty agreeable, where it's like, okay, this guy's getting, like, whittled down over time by all of these different people. Um, but I can't think of a of an exact example. It, it's, because obviously, even if they say, like, if all the lore up until then is, this person stronger than the other, and then we see them get hurt. You go like, oh well, I guess it's either not by much, or that statement's just not true, you know. So I can't think off the top of my head of an example, unfortunately. Right. Um. Would it be more of an amp for Broly to get God Key an instinct form, or to get his potential unlocked? Uh, potential unlocked, probably. Well, instinct forms are kind of crazy. Um, hmm. I think maybe long term potential unlocked. Yeah, he has the highest potential in the show, so it's pretty significant if it gets unlocked. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like the instinct form would do him the most, uh, but I feel like long term the potential unlock would be the best. Yeah. Darth Vader versus One Punch Man. I think we're going Vader there. Vader's pretty strong. Very versatile as well. Very skilled. Put Vegito Blue. Moves. Vegito Blue above Gogeta Blue. Uh, Vegito Blue in the manga is above Beerus. Uh, Gogeta Blue needed to go blue against Broly, who is uh, unmastered Super Saiyan. He's rampaging Super Saiyan. He had to go blue against him. And that Broly is like uh, getting fucking no diffed by Beefs Go On, who's weaker than Vegito Blue. So, like, Vegito yeah. Blue might not even need to go blue. He might just, like, beat him in, like, fucking Super Saiyan 2 or, like, fucking God form. Um, There's no proof that Gogeta Blue is Beerus level in the manga. Um, he's barely in the manga. Yeah. At all. Like, there's no proof. All we know is he had to go blue against Broly, which sucks because Broly's weak. Kind of. Yeah. Um, and that's that about Black it. That Black statement was the best thing that could have happened for uh, Vegeta. Yeah, dude. You know, like, if you look at Broly, he's, like, covered in, like, bruises and shit. Bro, Vegito Blue is stronger than Black Frieza, who one-tapped a guy's stronger than Broly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, I don't know. Gogeta Blue just sucks. The anime is different, but yeah. Top three favorite Attack on Titan characters. Um, Damn, it's been a minute. 
Uh, Levi is cool. Um, I like the bread girl. I forgot isn't her name. Is it Sasha? I don't remember. She's funny. And then... I don't really like any of the other characters that much, actually. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of where it cuts off. Maybe I'm forgetting someone, though. <laughs> what what did Leafblade ask that needs $300? Hold on. Leafblade that's $300 to ask that question. Wait, hold on. Which question? The dono one he did? Uh, who's a bigger bum? Reverse Flash or Zamasu? A bigger bum? Is rever is Reverse Flash a bum? No, he's <laughs> like he's like a a pretty high tier villain. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, maybe Zamasu then. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the only bumish thing that I can think ever happened to Reverse Flash is Doctor Manhattan killed him. But like, come on, like that's not you know. That does not make you a bomb, Doctor Rivers or uh, Doctor Manhattan. Like solo the entire universe. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess he got like stabbed by Flashpoint Batman. Um, so that that is pretty bumish, but he came back anyway. Uh, Can Wolverine solo JJK? Um. Is Wolverine uh, even crazy? Like, so his healing is really crazy, and like the durability of his adamantium is very crazy. But a pretty infamous win con is um, Hulk shows up and is like, "Yeah, you can heal. Your bones are very strong. But what if I just like bounce your brain around in your skull? Like, oh, it's just going to be bouncing around this like indestructible metal. That'd be unfortunate. So he, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if he just gets hit hard enough in the head over and over, yeah. Um, also, like, I don't think he can swim. Like, he's just so heavy that I, I think him and water don't get along, so... Um, like, if he I got put know. into a water bubble, like, he'd get, like, one-pieced? Like, he'd just get kind of, like, negged? Yeah, yeah, he would definitely drown. Um, That'd he would be unlucky. heal eventually if, uh, if he was let out. Yeah. But, yeah, I feel like if you play it smart, there are there are some pretty, pretty uh, succinct... Or effective win cons for against Wolverine. Um, would the best strat for the next tournament of power to let Boo absorb the whole team? <laughs> um, I don't uh, think. I don't think the, so. No, I don't think the Zenos would be satisfied by that. No, just... I don't. I don't. I don't think so. No, <laughs> I think something that might be interesting is if, is if like someone's losing, Boo like absorbs them to save them or something, like so they don't get knocked off. That might be like a weird like power up kind of moment or something like that could be temporary and then Boo's like okay I let you go <laughs> you know <laughs> that that'd be that like temporary um, that might be cool but yeah they're definitely not going to just all get absorbed by Boo um, yeah I feel like if it, it it started and then everyone got absorbed then it was over and I would just erase anything everything I also anyway. feel as though the concept of the is supposed to be like a teamwork thing so. Also, like, how strong would Boo be if he absorbed everyone anyway? Like, what, like, five times stronger than Goku? Like, ten times stronger than Goku? Like, if everyone is as strong as a Goku? Like, what if the next villain is just stronger than ten times Goku? And they needed Goku to get, like, beat up and get stronger. But, you know, like, I don't know. That's what happened last time. Bro, Jiren? Jiren was hundreds of thousands of times stronger than Goku. When they met. Like, I, think about that. Hundreds of thousands of times stronger. Possibly millions of times stronger than Goku when they met. Like, if Boo just absorbed everyone in that tournament, it would have been over. That's it. GG. Like, and the Spirit Bomb was the best example of that. Right? He's just like, anyway, uh, I'm going to use like 0 0.02% on this Spirit Bomb. And uh, goodbye. You know? Like... Like, the, the next villain might just be fucking insane, right? Like, is there a confirmed Terminal of Power 2? There's an implication. I think there's an implication. I don't know if you agree with that, Crisis, but I think there's an implication that it's possible. 
implication that it's possible you think within the anime or because zeno zeno seemed to like enjoy the next the last one it seemed to imply there might be another one yeah i think also that's that was definitely the most iconic part of the anime so i mean if if they're they're giving so much into fan service that they're like bringing cell back and you know go home blanco then i don't know why they would yeah be uh why they reject the notion of uh, another top I do hope there's a lot of time between now and then, though. Like, I, I, I wouldn't want it to just be, like, the second arc if Super Ever came back. A friend of mine asked me this, and I didn't know how to answer this. If God knows everything we will do, how free, how can free will co- coincide, coincide with that? Uh, you're, you're talking about Calvinism. So, I don't know. You can look up, like, Sam Shimon, like... Uh, debunks Calvinism. I think Sam Shimon used to be like part of like a, a Calvinist like kind of like pseudo cult thing, and he's like a powerful theological debater, and he's obviously against that now. So he'd probably give you a better answer than I would <clears throat> if you're actually curious about that. But I think it just boils down to this, bro. Just because you know someone's going to do something doesn't mean you control them into doing that. You know what I mean? Um. Also, if there is a god who is above all concepts and things, he would be able to bestow upon you free will um, that is outside of his will for you in a weird way. Almost like you can kind of determine your own fate in a sense. Um, Even if he could like control it or, you know, knows what you're going to do or where you're going to go with that uh, is possible. There's so many things you could say with that question, but I would just look more into anti-Calvin. I think just like the, the generic answer is just cause he knows doesn't mean you're not choosing it. Right. So doesn't mean you don't exist and you're making these decisions on your own or whatever. Like you choose to do these things. I think that's the important distinction. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I would probably also say too, that like if you're a parent and you have like a little kid and you put like a piece of candy in front of them, you know that he's going to grab it, but it's still his choice. Like, it's still the child, yeah. like, doing the action, you know? Yeah. Thank you for the 250 Zenny, Mr. LM. I don't know what that currency is, but I'll call it Zenny yeah. for now. Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I might need to stop putting the $2 donos on the screen. It's too yeah, many. they're kind of overpowering. Yeah, there's too many $2. Um, so, yeah, $2 donos are not going on the screen anymore. Sorry about that, I think. Um, Batman killed Reverse Flash with a gun, so Jason W. <laughs> nice. Um, it wasn't a shotgun, though. Yep. Yeah. Um, would you rather fight an orangutan once a year for the rest of your life, but you get a sword? Dude, I feel like I've gotten this question before. Verbatim, this question before. Why the fuck have I heard? This is deja vu. Wait a minute. Would you rather fight an orangutan once a year for the rest of your life, but you get a sword, or you have to fight a chicken every time you get into a car? Why have I heard that before? Is this a common uh, inquiry? Yeah. Well, I've never heard it. Maybe you can answer it because I've answered it before, arbitrarily in the past. Eventually, yeah. Uh, you pretty easily kill a chicken. It's not a big a deal. Every time. Yeah, I mean, like whatever. It's like as easy as like clicking your your belt in, right? You get into a car. What? <laughs> like, what? You just gonna fucking come here, bitch? You snap his neck and throw it out the fucking car, like every time. Yeah, I mean, you get you you get numb to it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Damn chicken! I don't know why this keeps happening to me. It's a fucking Family yeah. Guy fight every time you get in the car. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I mean, listen, it's there's not... just a sinister fucking attack chicken in your vehicle, <laughs> like just respawns. Yeah. My mortal enemy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but fighting an orangutan, I mean, that might as well be like 
you survive a, a guy with a gun pointed at your head like once a year what I, what I like to get shot at once a year like that's probably the level of survivability that i'm dealing with if i have to physically fight a orangutan yeah like one one so, one foul swoop with that sword you know it's like damn i'm toasty yeah yeah I, don't know. I think i could just punch a chicken really hard and incapacitate i wouldn't like to do that but it's an avian creature so it's it's bones are relatively uh, frail you know yeah so it's a frail creature for sure yeah i don't know which are the easiest to dispatch with i wonder if it also applies to like uber or like your friend picking you up like if they pick you up like the attack chicken will just sort of appear in the back seat yeah yeah and then yeah no, I, th- I think yeah that's a good point if it would like make things awkward Right, you like, know? your friends would be like, yo, I don't want to hang out with that crisis guy. Like, the fucking chicken is going to come, like, every time. It's kind of yeah. fucking cringe. Or, like, Uber, they're just eventually going to stop. Like, every Uber driver is going to pick you up and be like, what the fuck? This guy must sneak chickens in and kill them every time. <laughs> like, what the hell is going on with this guy? You know? You know, if, you were, if you were awkward. a crazy, if you are a crazy, like, butcher or something mm-hmm. it's kind of like infinite food in a way you know like yeah i mean if you worked at like do you ever do you, are you ever on the road and you see like a chicken car like a horse car and you're like oh those are all the slaughterhouse like yeah if you drove one of those yeah then that that's probably the best possible vocation for you at that point <laughs> vocation yeah, yeah. I, I feel as though your if your vocation was butchery then yes. The attack chicken would be ideal because you'd sort of like have you like oh I need more chickens so you just get into your car like five times yeah yeah I'm punch them each once <laughs> maybe yeah. like put on your your you know maybe like you would also have like um your go to equipment perhaps as well like mm-hmm. you're like I'm gonna get into my car let me get my brass knuckles right like yeah. and then you're just gonna cave this chicken's head in. And like I think there's going. much more potential for positive for positives in that scenario, whereas with an orangutan, like that's right. pretty much just like right. the no. fight of my life every year. Yeah, no, the chicken, it's it's sort of um, a more life dominating event, perhaps mm-hmm. day Ever to day, present. but the benefits are also way higher, you know. So. Yeah. I also feel as though the orangutan fight would sort of dominate your life the whole year because you'd be like, it'd sort of be like a UFC fight, like or an MMA fight. Like you're getting ready yeah. for a fucking death match with this orangutan. It's gonna you'd be have on, to train, or else you're just gonna get it's destroyed. gonna be, bro. It's gonna be on your mind every day. You know what I mean? It's yeah. gonna dominate. You're, your you're life. gonna have a calendar like how until the orangutan fight, or you can just like get like become the chicken killer. You know, like and have infinite chicken yeah. food. I mean, you you you'd probably be clutching a gun too all the time if you're waiting for the orangutan to just like spawn you well, know, you, nearby. You, you have to fight it with a sword. So, well, oh, it says I see. it says, right. but you but you get a sword. I don't know what that means. I guess it's like Scott Pilgrim, where it just a sword just spawns in his chest. Yeah, you got like a Scott Pilgrim sword. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Soul. I yeah, mean, yeah, I, I think chicken. Yeah, I think I think I'm agreeing with this chicken option as well. At first, I thought it was annoying, but maybe if I just became a man, like I just grew some balls about it, you know, yeah. the benefits are really good, you know. Yep. Um, if damage amps Vegeta's ultra ego, would Kaioken be a good technique for him to learn? No, I think the damage is more about ego damage. So like. Whenever try, someone tries to hurt Vegeta or put him down, like, his ego flares up, right? Like, his desire to fight increases when something tries to put him down, right? Like, that's the idea. Um, so, no, I don't think Kaioken would, would be good. I think Kaioken would be great for Piccolo, who has, like, high vitality, um, uh, but not Vegeta, no. Piccolo could also heal. Right, yeah, yeah, he would, he would heal from the damage if it went too far. Um, so it would be a good Piccolo technique, not Vegeta technique. Um, 
Nah, I don't mean him being a bum fighter. More so him running back in time to trip the Flash when he was 10 as an example. Oh, he meant like bum as in like fucking bastard. Kind of. Well, the most bastard thing he ever did was uh, Flash as a boy had like a best friend. And um, Reverse Flash went in time to... Bef I think it was like just a little bit after him and his friend had, had met... And Reverse Flash just grabbed the kid and pulled him into the, like, Speed Force so Barry never had a best friend growing up. Right. Yeah, so as far as, like, bigger op, you know, mm. like, piece of shit, then, yeah. I would say, if, if that's the... More than Zamasu, yeah, I, I'd say. Because Reverse Flash, like, dedicates his entire life. And also, you know, Zamasu is, like, he killed Goku, killed his family, and that was that. But Reverse Flash, it's his, it's his entire career, you know. Um, I need to use the bathroom real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I'll answer some questions. Um, yeah, the chicken one, chicken one. I think we we spent a lot of time on. I think, I think, I think we gave a fair answer. Um, getting an Uber and killing a chicken every time would be fun. I'm choosing a monkey to soar in his easy dub. It is just not, man. It is just not. Like a monkey... You have to think so, too. Even if, maybe, you get lucky a few times, you have to consider every year you're going to get caught off guard. Or imagine, like, you get injured at some point, and you're like, fuck, I have to, like, get stem cells or something to heal from this faster in case this monkey shows up. You know, I, I, I think the chicken, it's just one chicken. It's just honestly, it's just an inconvenience. You know, like what damage could a chicken ever do? Yeah. That's just how I feel. He's going to be excited to see that 50 done. Um, what if Zamasu learned Kaioken? Um, I mean, it would be like blue Kaioken. I don't know be a insane inherent benefit um is it physically damaging or just stamina draining though kaioken or uh ultra ego 20 bucks thank you hope y'all have a good day appreciate you five bucks mostly for crisis toby spider versus fox wolverine i'll take free chicken i'll answer that um so I'm definitely going to make that video when Deadpool 3 comes out. I think that's a really cool versus match. Um, I've looked a lot into the X-Men movies. Um, and there is some stuff. There's like some promotional material that says that the fire mutant from Days of Future Past has like the power of the sun or something. You'd have to kind of stretch things to say Wolverine gets to that level. Otherwise, I think... You could scale them above Storm, who can make like tornadoes and like giant thunderclouds. So, I mean, it's anywhere from like town level to city, from what I understand, like very quickly making like a thundercloud. Um, and then there's statements like Sabretooth and Wolverine in the like original movies are the strongest mutants. So, and uh, Sabretooth also. When Storm hits him with lightning in the first X-Men movie that's stated to be Storm's full power and Sabretooth survives, um, if not just tanks it. So there's a couple of things to get him there, but otherwise I think um I think uh I think Toby. And I've got various videos scaling him. I'm going to link my channel. I appreciate you uh subbing. Hello. What's up? Maybe change of, answered. change of, oh, go ahead, sorry. I answered uh, this $5 dono um, later on, but... Uh, Which one? We got a we got a 50 bone one. Oh, shit. We did. You you answered uh, the Doolally one, correct? Yes. Also, uh, sorry for not putting the twos on the screen anymore. The reason I don't is because I haven't reset my stream lab for a few streams, so the amount of images will, like, freak out the app. So I need to reset it. Um, 
next time, so the amount of images will actually make it start lagging, so no offense, but, like, if you have, like, fucking 300 $2 donos, uh, I really appreciate it, but I need to, like, be conservative with the actual images on the screen, or else it might, like, crash, uh, cite, uh, the strongest stream with the Gohan picture, where it literally just ended my stream because of the images, so, no offense, uh, I'll still answer your $2 donos, it just won't be on the screen. So, um, also, that aside, you know, sort of changing the subject slightly before we get the, um, talk about the donos again. Uh, the Fallout TV show. Go watch it. Right now. Go we'll fucking watch it right now. I want, I want y'all to watch it. Because I actually want to start talking about it a little bit. Because have you seen it by the way, Crisis? Have you seen the Fallout TV show? I have not. You need to watch it too. All right, because that shit, that shit was peak. I'm not gonna. That was probably that was probably one of the top five shows I've ever seen in my life. And I, you know, I'm Man. a big, I'm a big, I'm a big Fallout fan. Yeah. But that show, I feel as though was like really, it was very enjoyable. I felt like, I felt like all the twists were good. Um, I don't want to spoil it with like what type of twist or whatever, but. I felt as though it was it was very good. It was like I felt like it had some like Game of Thrones level fucking plot changing. <laughs> you know, I was like this this is great, you know, but it was more entertaining cuz it's Fallout and um I don't know, I do recommend it. So if you guys watch it, it it's so it's fucking insane, bro. It's legit crazy. And they also they also made up so apparently there was like some confusion cuz like uh Shady Sands or whatever is destroyed in the show. They're like, they retcon New Vegas? Well, no. The New Vegas is actually canon. And, uh, yeah. We do see it, actually. So, that got confirmed as well. So, you know, season two is gonna be heat. So, yeah. It's only eight episodes, so if y'all would peep it, I would love to yap to y'all about it sometime before season two. So, that's just it's my... Y'all's, it's yeah. y'all's homework. Yeah, that's your homework. Go watch Fallout, the TV show. It is, uh, Peak Media. All right, just a little passion. Five dollar dono right. first. Peter Griffin with Ultra Instinct versus every Power Ranger ever. Wait, hold on. Are you gonna upload some of your previous streams? No. Thanks for two. Um, Peter Griffin with Ultra Instinct versus every Power Ranger. Okay, well, um, how strong are the Power Rangers? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> um, I read recently where they crossed over with the Justice League. I don't. Think... Oh shit. I mean, there's probably something walking in there. Um, mm. Every Power Ranger ever, though, like, if you count Draken as a Power Ranger, he's like an evil Green Ranger. Um, we just see him destroy, like, multiple universes on screen, like, with just a like, wave of his hand. Um, yeah. So, probably not every Ranger. I know Peter Griffin has, like, the fucking uh, metal detector <laughs> feet. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people think that's a time travel feat, but uh, let me let, let's do a little armchair, a little armchair. Hold on, let's see. Maybe there's just some crazy shit just off the bat. Massively FTL. Okay, but what about AP? Mm. AP. Let's look up Jason. Yeah, Jason Scott. Country level, FTL. Lord Draken is low complex multi. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. Well, Peter and Griffin he does have mm. a morphing, a morphing. Uh, he does have a morpher. He's connected to the grid, so technically he's a Power Ranger. Well, maybe Lord Draken w might win. Maybe a high balled Ultra Instinct and like a high balled Griffin might take it though. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like the the Power Rangers are taking that one. All right. Fifty dollars. Okay, here we go. Put you on the screen real quick. I'd love to see more of the shade. The the, the is, pink uh, shade. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. Is it what what type of shade is that? Is that a fuchsia or? <sighs> I think it's a fuchsia. Look into fuchsia. Let me look into fuchsia a little. Bit. Yeah, it's like more. Yeah. Of yeah, yeah, no, I'd say spot on fuchsia. It's a fuchsia, yeah. Maybe some more fuchsia donos, boys. Yep. <clears throat> Let me read it, though. 
Right now, my thoughts on the narrative of Goku Black and his importance to the other arcs in DBS, and I can't wait to share them with you once I think it's ready. Also, Jason Solo's Elden Ring. You know what? For 50 bucks, he does. I mean, yeah. he just does. Like, what? Like, in Elden Ring, they don't even have guns. But, you know, Jason, he has, like, the Mortal Kombat scaling. He scales, like, some weird outerversal shit in the comics. I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, Elden Ring is just, like, what is it? It's just a statement merchant. The the meteors that Radon the meteors that Radon have they're not even meteors well I mean they're not stars they're just like meteors or just like objects of unknown size they could just be like really twinkly little fucking baseball sized orbs in the sky that are just very you know um, transient you know in appearance very sparkly from a distance um, you know maybe maybe a lot of those beings like oh they created life unquantifiable concepts concepts don't have to be above the concept of space and time it doesn't have to mean anything it could just be the concept within the verse but the concept of life in a verse could be different than the actual concept of just life in general so yeah i, I agree i think jason would just kind of like butcher them all they kind of just suck you know um and i i'm excited to see your your dbs uh, Goku Black breakdown. I'm I'm excited. I still think that he is a villain made for Vegeta. I do think mm. that my argument is a uh, is stronger than what you may have suggested. But hey, I, I do want to see it significant with Goku as well. So let's see that. Um, yeah, thank you for the fifty dollars. I really appreciate it. Cause you fucking you destroyed my stream with these two dollars. Now it's lagging. <laughs> Why can't you just donate a bunch of fifties, huh? Like. Why don't you just have infinite money? Crisis King as well. Thank you. That's 52 in general. But uh, then you answered this one. $20. Mm -hmm. Hope you're having a great day. You too, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for the donuts today. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, no, Alex. Whenever you're ready, bro. Let's, uh, let's hear this Goku Black. If you ever want to get on stream and explain it, you can do that as well. You can get on stream and explain it. Um, you can just write it in a dono. I don't know. I don't know how you want to go about it. But uh, I'm down to listen. So. And then uh, Fallout versus Elder Scrolls. Two bucks. I'm assuming you mean the series. I'm a Fallout fan. More than Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls is okay. You know. But, uh. I don't know. What do you think? Do you have a? Do you actually like either of them? Yeah. No. I um. I haven't really sat down with a Fallout game. Um. You know, I was exposed to Elder Scrolls first, uh, and so I think I'm I'm more partial to that. But you've never played think, New Vegas. I've played it. I've just sort of like messed around with it. I, I don't know. I wasn't in the mood to sit down and uh and really dig my teeth into it though but Damn. i haven't installed yeah he's like i don't i don't want to play peak i don't want to play peak i have to think about killing chickens or finding a <laughs> orangutan <laughs> it's a dominating my life like when i get yeah. on it when i get off of here like that's just all i'm thinking about <laughs> yeah 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 if it's versus though it should be elder scrolls uh, Clyde and I let a few people on this stream before, and, uh, that was a good wake-up call for me. Like, just fucking... Because I remember, I think it was a few days before that, I'm like, why do I even give a fuck about this job? And then, like, I was like, does it actually have, like, significance outside making money? I thought about it, and then, I think it was, like, a stream or two later, all those guys got on the stream, and I was like, damn. I feel bad. Like, I actually, like, you know, like, these streams are actually, like, a little important to, to people. Yeah, I would say... That whole that whole stream was pretty uh, significant for my my character arc when it came to my career, I guess. So, I really liked that stream a lot. Um, let's see, John Wick with a Pit Boy, the Vats, and the Alien Blaster from Fallout Three versus JJK. If he has an action points refill, that's called I think that's a perk. It's called Grim Reaper Sprint. All right, so it's Grim Reaper Sprint. Um, I mean, all Vats does, like, it's sort of, like, the the newer Vats sucks, but the older Vats, like, you sort of, it let you, like, freeze time, 
and get like an RPG, like perfect accuracy on every shot kind of thing. I don't think John Wick with a hype with a hypothetical perfect accuracy could like beat Gojo or Jogo or like beat a fucking like mountain buster or some shit. You know what I mean? Like a lot of Bings would just dodge his weapons. Um, maybe the alien blaster from Fallout Three is too fast, though. Like, it maybe it might be sub rel. Like, there's some. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but there's some arguments that like plasma rounds and shows are like sub rel or something like that. Yeah. Um, so the alien blaster might be sub rel. So he might actually be doinking a lot of the verse with it. Um, and maybe you know, like the the amount of damage it can do is more than like a you know fat man. Or, you know, some types of nukes. There's some characters in Fallout that can just tank fucking Courier Mile nukes, like in New Vegas. Um, where all the fucking Death Claws and a lot of the marked men just tank that fucking blast on top of their face. Like, so, I don't know. It's possible that he, he walks through, like, more of a downplayed iteration of the verse. I don't see him ever beating uh, Gojo or Sukuna or really any character like that. But he might cleave through a lot of the... The lower mid tiers, um, like maybe he could fucking like vats and doink Hanami in the well, not in the face, um, with the alien blaster, and uh, it would be too much damage for him to handle like that, like off guard. It's possible. Um, I don't think he's gonna hurt Mahito either. Mahito needs his soul to be fucked with. Um, so I don't know. He's sort of getting through like lower mid tiers and uh, a lot of higher tiers. Even, like, higher mid-tiers are kind of dicking on him. That's what I would say. Missed a $5 dono from the armored one. Did I? Uh, No, we answered that. Yeah, <laughs> Nine Tails versus Godzilla. We answered that. Pretty sure. Unless he has a different... Do you donate something different? Are you going to upload some of your previous streams? I answered that. Uh, Ninetales vs. Godzilla, I answered that. Yeah, I think I answered all of it. Plasma is a state of matter, not light. Yes. <laughs> yes, but that's not... That's not the argument for the, the speed in the verse. Or the speed of the uh, the weaponry. I think Star Wars has sim uh, similar uh, discussions about like the plasma based laser rounds, but some people debate about it. I don't know. Some people say it sucks. Mm. It depends on like the. It depends on the. Um, I feel like the cannon. Yeah, for sure. All right, boys. I have a question for you. Who's winning this? Hold on. Who's winning this? Who do you got? Write your answer right now. Let's see it. Goku, every ability. Luffy, every ability. Ichigo, every ability. Naruto, every ability. What's your what's your peck in order? Got to go. Yep, see you, Alex. Probably gonna end the Thank stream in like enough. fifteen minutes, so. Thank you very much. I never actually Love played it. uh Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. I hear they fixed it with the update. Yeah, they kind of like fried their their clout though, didn't they? Yeah, it's going around a lot. The uh, guys who made the Batman games did the, the Suicide Squad game. They have like no clout now. All right. If it was equal stats, equal stats, who's winning? Equal stats, who's winning out of that four? Equal stats. Let's change it up. Now, now it's getting complicated. Now it's more complicated. Equal stats. 
Why can't she go with the piccolo hat? <laughs> the piccolo hat. And any any turban is a piccolo hat. <laughs> well, come on, it's even got like yeah, I, I know just the piccolo the hat. little thing on it. Yeah, yeah, the purple like yeah, purple top. It's got the piccolo hat. It's got every piece of clothing in the verse. Goku turns them to chocolate. I forgot he would. Yeah, he would have the chocolate beam. It'd be so funny. Yeah, he'd have Hakai. He'd have the chocolate beam. Ichigo would have some weird shit. So would Naruto. Yeah, no. Mafuba. They would all be kind of crazy, Loki. Ichigo equal stats wins. I don't care. Naruto easy GG. Okay. We got some, you know, we got some some different takes. I like it. I like it. I think the I think the general consensus is that Luffy is at the bottom. So whatever that means, you know. <laughs> Does Goku get the Super Dragon Ball's abilities? Uh It's his every ability in the verse. So I would say like a character's ability. Like does the Dragon Ball is wishing on the Dragon Ball an ability? Like, is Shenron in a character with abilities? Or is Shenron, like, mm. an ability? It's, I don't know. I, th I feel like you would have Shenron abilities, actually. Yeah, if you if you frame it from, like, he would have Super Shenron's abilities, yeah. Yeah, so he'd low-key have, like, fucking, like, really high-tier reality manipulation. He'd have, like, fucking, like, multi-universal reality manipulation. He'd also have all of O'Reilly's abilities. Yeah, he would have. Damn. Yeah, maybe Goku's Loki fucking on him bad, bro. <laughs> I, I think Goku might be fucking on him. But, you know. Out of the other three. Like, I feel, yeah, I feel like Super Shenron, like, Arale, like, that's, like, too crazy. Like, he could do fucking, he'd basically be, like, borderline, like, omnipotent for, like, the fucking universal tier. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. He'd, like, yeah, he'd be, like, a pseudo-omnipotent B. <laughs> um... Could just like jump out of the narrative as well with his tune force. But all, all of every ability in the Naruto. Ver <clears throat> How does that go? Sorry, what'd you say? I was just saying, like, if we only consider Naruto, you're like cutting out before you finish. I think is he, he's cutting out for you guys too, right? Maybe it's just me. Yeah, no, Goku's definitely number one. But the other ones might be fun. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's like just Naruto versus Ichigo, all hacks. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Ichigo fights a lot of, like, really, like, weirdly hacked opponents, like the Stern Ritter. Um, all the Stern Ritter have, like, weird-ass abilities. Naruto, uh, gets a lot, a lot of more crazy abilities in, like, Boruto. Um, but, um, yeah. I don't think One Piece is really that insane. Um, it's kind of, it's like, okay, yeah, it's definitely down to, like, Naruto or Ichigo for the number two spot, probably. Pretty enjoyable question. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, he's cutting out. Rip. Not anymore. Back. Not anymore, not anymore. Is it possible to get a red dono before we end? Is it possible? Is it possible? Is there any hero waiting in chat? Can we can we finish the can we finish the rainbow this stream? Is there a rainbow on this stream? I don't know. Do we end at fuchsia? I'm not sure. Will we ever witness the color red again? A red would be life changing. 
it would be life changing, you know. If anyone wants to like make me shit my pants, you know, like that'd be like really sick. Like, We're both gonna shit ourselves. <laughs> <if> that happens. <laughs> no pressure, but you know, be cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool thing to end the the work week on. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you guys Loki scammed me. You know that you scammed me. Um, there's that one stream where I was like making those fucking full on like what if breakdowns on like reverse scaling. For the that was scammery. That should have all been for a hundred dollars. That was scamming. I got scammed, but it was fun though. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. There's something about the color red. <laughs> no problem, Caleb. You already did. You did crazy stuff last stream, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. You don't gotta do nothing, Caleb. I believe in you. There's another uh, greenish blue. Not quite red though. <laughs> I, I like I like you know, I like the greens though. You know, they add up. Okay, okay. The Enclave versus Attack on Titan. I think the Enclave is actually destroying all of them. I'm not joking. The Enclave is low key just like mowing them down. Like really badly. Like, they have, like, straight-up, like, plasma turrets and, like, mobile, like, fucking mini-nuke carriers and... I don't know. Like, these colossal titans, like, they're not, like, that crazy durable. Like, I feel as though, like, the, the, the rumbling would have to sort of... If they're just walking in a straight line, I feel like the Enclave can cut them down in a straight line. Um, I don't know, though. Ugh. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe there are too many of them for the Enclave, actually, when I think about it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it would be too much. Like, the Enclave isn't actually that big of an organization. It'd be weird, though. I'm not... I don't know. Yeah. That'd be strange. <laughs> That's an interesting question, though. I don't know why they think Attack on Titan is so strong. I was just thinking about that. I was like, well, those super mutant behemoths give the Enclave a little bit of trouble, don't they? Like, I don't know. Like, then imagine, like, a colossal Titan versus a fucking super mutant behemoth, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> They're low-key pretty powerful. Yeah, don't underestimate how much energy it takes to do that Spice Master. I was fucking... I was melting, bro. Low key of fucking blowing my brain up coming up with that shit. Can you get the to... chat down to zero? To, like, viewers? I don't know how I did that last time, to be fair. How long were we going for? Certainly, you've done longer streams than that. I think it was three hours. Almost yeah. three hours. Something like that. Bizarre. Yeah. It was just a glitch, so. I have to debate Leaf Blade on Gojo versus a fucking Madoka Magica character today. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be like, I don't know. Not interesting. Maybe I should like be like, hey, I'll record it, but I'm not going to stream it or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe people would like it if I like uploaded that debate, though, if it's funny. Like the little pin. Yeah, pin, you revive. A little revive pin pin debate. Bit. I'll try to cook something up. I'll try to have fun with it. The thing about, like, making pin-pin debates is, like, you have to, like, orchestrate it in a way where it's, like, entertaining. Like, you can't just debate them. Like, so it's, like, it's like an extra step. But maybe I could. Really. Seth, don't act like... Don't act like you didn't like my Gojo question. What Gojo question? We got a lot of donos today, so I don't know. Oh... I can debate do the now. debate now, actually. Well, we're ending the stream in five minutes. You think that might have to be Sunday then? 
the earliest. Yeah. Well, I'll get a red dono when I get my taxes back if you stream it. Okay. Maybe if we got a red dono, we could live stream it right now. I don't know. Ooh. You know, that'd be kind of cool. That sounds good. Got another yellow. Maybe we'll live stream it for a, for a red dono. Red dono, pin pin, new update. New upload on pin. That'd be so cool. Like, $100 How to long stream has it? it? Been? $100 Since for pin pin? pin pin? Like, I don't know, man. It might be pretty Gucci. Yeah. Legit Lanius versus Nemesis. I think we went over this before in the past, actually. Um, I believe we came to the conclusion that Fallout characters are stronger than Resident Evil ones. By quite a large portion. Uh, in terms of speed, they're like... They're like hypersonic... They're like tanking, like fucking futuristic, like missiles, mini nukes, plasma fire. Um, Leg Atlantis is just terminating through them and then just chopping them down with a fucking buster sword, like superhumans. Um, might be game only verse. Um, yeah, I don't think Nemesis has anything like that at all. I think Nemesis fights like a Goss rifle and then gets like fucking no diffed in his strongest form once uh, Jill whips that out. Like, he literally turns into an Eldritch Abomination and then gets Goss rifled to death, whereas, like, Leg Atlantis would sort of, like, run through that and then chop the guy in half. So, I feel like Leg Atlantis is also just smarter. Um, maybe it might be a type of, like, matchup problem where Leg Atlantis can't just kill him by slashing him with the sword or something, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's, like, a weird uh, hacks differential, but I think in terms of, like, the raw statistics... The Fallout verse is like a step above Resident Evil. It's just more, it's more inherently goofy and over the top. So, this is the same Leaf Blade from Cancer Station and Rotting Station. <laughs> yes, I'm surprised. I forgot that it was called that, but yeah, that is that is what it was called, and that is where he's from. <laughs> yes. Rotting <laughs> Station. Yeah. Maybe if you get a red dono, you can discuss the agonizing pain that will kill Kratos after he eats 10 pounds of Arby's food. I could. Yeah, yeah no, I could. Cool. Yeah, I'd be down to do that. Yeah, for sure. We certainly would not talk about that for free. <laughs> Kratos could not withstand the meat mountain. Agree. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel... This is definitely a hundred dollar donation question. I don't know. This is this is quite the complex philosophical inquiry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is cancer station? Oh, it's just a joke. It doesn't there's it doesn't actually mean anything. Uh not a real concept. One of those just purely abstract notions. <laughs> Alright, we got two more minutes. And then we're going to call it quits. Don't want to keep crisis here forever. So. $100 new pin pin. <laughs> crisis wants the $100 dono more than I do. <laughs> I've got to see red. Like, look at all the other colors. <laughs> No it's like red. it's like a mosaic missing one color of the rainbow. Yeah. Maybe a dark blue as well, like the one dollar, you know, throw that on there somewhere. Imagine if you saw a rainbow, there's no red. It's like what? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ripped off here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it does miss some some majesty. Yeah. Definitely some absent majesty. This guy fucking, he's debate gooning him. I worked at Arby's. They do not have to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> that Arby's was, debates? That was, that was a funny reply, actually. Canes is carried by the sauce? No way. I've never actually had Canes. So. 
There's always people that just go against the grain. Do you think Thousand Year Blood War anime changes Ichigo power scaling? I feel like all anime adaptations just clarify things. Sort of, if that makes sense. Like, ooh, these beings can actually shake these three realms. Ooh, you know. We kind of knew they could before, but, you know, now we actually, like, see it, you know? So... All right, boys. That's the two-hour mark. Ding, ding, ding. It's time for me to go. Thank you all for coming today. I feel like we had some fun conversations. I really like the the orangutan yeah. uh, chicken discussion. Shitting yep. gold and Broly's power as well. That was sort of fun. Um, I feel as though it was grim, but it was interesting. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Alex, for the fifty-dollar donation today. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll let you guys know how this magnificent debate goes. Okay? Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyways, 